In the 50s, we all had to make our own clothes. Because in those days, there was very little after the war. My mother taught me to knit. I think because I enjoyed the way that it took time. You know, I like to have things to do. I knitted jerseys for my father and my brother, and they were always the wrong size. <laughs> so I had to undo them. I'm from the West Country, really. My family comes from Somerset. I came to London in 1959 to the painting school at the Royal College. So I was there for five years, but that's because I was, <laughs> I think, a rather a simple country girl and a lot of the, the men had all done national service. So they were quite a lot older. So it took me a while to get going. <laughs> and by the time I was married and had two daughters. I then had a kiln, because I, I really loved making things out of clay. That was sort of 1976. The stair carpet was wearing out. I was trying to think of a way of making a braided rug that would go upstairs. And I met a friend in the street and she said, well, Welsh wool is the thing, that's it's very strong. I hadn't thought about spinning wool until then. And I just started with a with an old bedstead, I think, to start with, <laughs> which I wound my warp round. My husband at the time made me a frame loom out of wood from a skip. And it's a very simple design, but it has worked very well for 40 years now. I like the way that for a rug, the geometry is, is very important. For me, it all has to be diagonals. I wouldn't attempt ever to do a, a curve because the yarn isn't fine enough for a curve. Wool is this wonderful fibre. It's so strong. It wears so well. There are 60 breeds of sheep in Britain. and We think of New Zealand having sheep, but it only has four breeds. The fact that the sheep are British sheep, you know, they are age old. I, I wouldn't want to spin llama wool or alpaca wool because they're from the Andes. Well, I'm not from the Andes. I'm so glad people love keeping them as long as I can use their wool. <laughs> I, I think only my, my husband, Frank, really, is an inspiration with his painting the age of 82, he's still making the most extraordinary paintings. An artist can keep going, still doing wonderful work. That's all one can really hope to emulate. I think the nice thing is that it suits me just to keep making rugs. Some people, like my husband Frank, he's making everything new all the time and building on what has gone before. And that's a very different way of working. I mean, what I'm making now is very similar to what I was making 35 years ago, really. I don't want to have to think up new things to do every day. The other people can do that. As long as what I'm making is useful to somebody, I think that's fine. I'm Rachel Scott, and I'm a rug maker. <laughs>